Now, let's see how to calculate time complexity in data structures or uh, design and analysis of algorithms. So, for these five examples, we are going to calculate the time complexity. Here, all these are some programs or some core snippets, a part of the program. So, let's see the first example. Example 1. Here we have a part, a part of the program like this. For i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to n, i is equal to i plus 2. Within the curly braces, some statements. So, we need to calculate, uh, how to calculate the time complexity for a for loop. Here, if we have i plus plus, instead of i is equal to i plus 2, if we have i plus plus, then directly we can say that time complexity is order of n, big O of n. But here we have i is equal to i plus 2. So here let us assume that here uh, n value is some 10. So here we need to calculate, here what is the initial value of i 1. So first i value is 1, next i become 1 plus 2, 3, next 3 plus 2, 5. Next to 5 plus 2, 7 likewise. Okay, So the number of odd numbers between 1 to n is n by 2. If you take 100, n value as 100, then the number of odd numbers from 1 to 100 are 50. So that 50 is nothing but n by 2 value. So we can say that this for loop will be executed for n by 2 times. So the body will also be executed for n by 2 times. Why? Because if there are 50 odd numbers, then all those 50 odd numbers will be printed. So now, for calculating the time complexity, we have to add n by 2, n by 2. So n by 2, n by 2. So n by 2, n by 2 means 2n by 2. 2n by 2 means 2. So we can say that the time complexity of this for loop is order of n. So if we have a single for loop, then directly we can say that time complexity of this that loop is order of n if we have some incrementation like this okay now let's see the so what is the time complexity of the first example order of n now let's see the second example so what is the second example we have two for loops if we have two for loops then we can say that time complexity is order of n square. So, 1 for loop means order of n, 2 for loops means order of n square, 3 for loops means order of n cube. So, let us check whether it is whether it is correct or not. Next for j equal to 0, j less than i. Here, generally the condition will be given as j less than n. If j less than n, then directly we can say that time complexity is big O of n square. But let's check whether it is big O of n square, n square or not. Why? Because here the condition is j less than i. Okay. Now, initially, what is, uh, let us observe the ij values, ij and how many times the statements will get executed. So, initially, what is i value? 0. If i is equal to 0, let us assume that n value is 5. So, 0 less than 5, yes, condition is true. So, what is the initial value of j? 0. 0 less than, what is i value? 0. 0 less than 0 means condition is false. So, what will happen? 0 statements will be executed. So, nothing will be executed. Next, i will become 1, i plus plus 1. Next, what is a value? 0. Next, 0 less than, j less than i. What is a value? 0. 0 less than 1. Yes, condition is true. So, one statement will be executed. Next to j plus plus, j will become 1. 1 less than, what is i value? 0. 1 less, I am sorry, what is i value? 1. 1 less than 1, condition is false. So, that means when i is equal to 1, only one statement will get executed. Only one statement will get executed. Next, i will become 2. What is the initial value of j? 0. 0 less than 2. Yes, condition is true. So, the body will be executed. Next, j will become 1. 1 less than 2. Yes, condition is true. So, the statements will be executed twice. Next, j will become 2. 2 less than 2. Condition is false. So, the body will be executed for twice. 
सो नाउ द सीरीज इज लाइक दिस जीरो प्लस वन प्लस टू सो ऑन एन सो दिस इज नथिंग बट सम ऑफ एन नेचुरल नंबर्स सो वी नो द फॉर्मुला फॉर सम ऑफ एन नेचुरल नंबर्स एन इन टू एन प्लस वन बाई टू सो दैट इज इक्वल टू एन इन टू एन मीन्स एन स्क्वेयर सो दैट एन कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज ऑर्डर ऑफ एन स्क्वेयर सो एन स्क्वेयर बाय टू प्लस एन बाई टू वाइल कैलकुलेटिंग द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी वी हैव टू कंसिडर हायर ऑर्डर एक्सपोनेंट सो एन स्क्वेयर एन मीन्स टू इज हायर ऑर्डर एक्सपोनेंट सो एन स्क्वेयर बाई टू वी हैव टू इग्नोर द कॉन्स्टेंट मल्टीप्लेयर इग्नोर वन बाई टू सो ऑर्डर ऑफ एन स्क्वेयर इज द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी नाउ लेट सी दर्ड एग्जाम्पल सो वट इज द थर्ड एग्जाम्पल इनिशियल वैल्यू ऑफ ई इज गिवेन ई इज इक्वल टू वन नेक्स्ट वाइल ई लेस दैन एन हियर वी डोंट नो वॉट इज एन वैल्यू इफ यू नो एन वैल्यू देन डायरेक्टली वी कैन टेल दैट द बॉडी ऑफ दिस स्निपेट इज ऑर्डर ऑफ एन स्क्वेयर बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली एन वैल्यू इज नॉट गिवेन एज वेल एज वॉट इज द बॉडी हियर सम स्टेटमेंट्स विल बी एक्सिक्यूटेड नेक्स्ट ई इज इक्वल टू ई इन टू टू इफ यू हैव सम मल्टीप्लीकेशन लाइक दिस ई इज इक्वल टू ई इन टू टू If n value is not given, then the time complexity is big O of log n, big O of log n. Likewise, instead of star, if we have division operator, then also the time complexity is big O of log n. So let's see that. So here we don't know what is n value. Okay. So here i value is given. We need to observe. We need to check how many times the body will be executed or i value will be manipulated. So initially, what is i value? i is equal to one. So one less than we don't know what is n value. One less than n. Let the condition is true. So body will be executed. So now i will be modified to i is equal to i into two. What is i value? One. So one into two means two. Next i becomes two. Two less than n. Yes, condition is true. So now i will be modified to i into two. What is i value? Two. So two into two means four. Next i value is four. Four less than n. Yes, condition is true. We don't know what is n value. N is not given here. So i is equal to what? What is i value? Four. So four into two means eight. So what is the series? The series is like this: two comma two plus four plus eight, so on. So the series is like this. Okay. So we can write two as two power one. Four years, two square, eight years, two cube. So what is the last two term? The last two term is two power k. The last term is two power k. Okay. Here, when the condition will be false, here i less than n is given. So the condition will be false when i is greater than or equal to n. Here the condition is i less than n. So when i less than n, the condition is true. So the body will be executed. So the condition is false. When i is greater than or equal to n, what is this i? This i is nothing but this last two term. What is the last two term? Two power k is greater than or equal to n. So that means two power k is equal to n. Apply log on both sides. Then we will get log two power k is equal to log n. Log a power m is equal to m log a. Then k log two equal to log n. By default, the base is two. Log a base a means one. So k equal to log n. So we can say that the time complexity is order of log n. So if you don't know what is n value as well as i is equal to i into two, then the time complexity is log n. Here also we don't know what is n value, and i is equal to i by two. Yeah, here i value is n. We know i value. Here what is the body here? I is equal to i by two. I by two means we will get time complexity as log n only, just like this one. Okay, so I into two I by two means we will get time complexity as log n. So let's see the next one. So here for I equal to one I less than or equal to n. Here also n is not given, but here I is equal to I into three. I is equal to I into three. We will get just like the previous one only. But the base value is three log n base three. That is the time complexity. Okay, so let's check whether it is correct or not. So initially i value some statements. So initially in the first iteration, what is i value? In the first iteration, initially i is equal to one. So if condition is true, so i will be modified to one into three. Three. 
नेक्स्ट आई विल बिकम थ्री आई इज इक्वल टू आई इंटू थ्री वाट इज आई वैल्यू थ्री थ्री इंटू थ्री दैट इज इक्वल टू नाइन सो विल गेट सीरीज लाइक दिस थ्री पावर वन प्लस थ्री पावर टू सो वन थ्री पावर के लाइक दिस हियर वेन द कंडीशन विल बी फॉल्स आई लेस देन एन इक्वल टू एन मीन्स कंडीशन इज ट्रू आई ग्रेटर दैन एन मीन्स कंडीशन इज फॉल्स आई ग्रेटर दैन एन मीन्स कंडीशन इज फॉल्स वॉट इज आई वैल्यू दिस फाइनल टर्म थ्री पावर के ग्रेटर दैन एन सो वी कैन राइट दिस एज थ्री पावर के इक्वल टू एन थ्री पावर के इक्वल टू एन इक्वेट दिस टू अपने लॉग लॉग ऑन बोथ साइड्स लॉग थ्री पावर के इक्वल टू लॉग एन देन के लॉग थ्री इक्वल टू लॉग एन हियर वी नीड वन वैल्यू सो दैट्स वे अप्लाई बेस थ्री हियर अप्लाई बेस थ्री हियर लॉग थ्री बेस थ्री मीन्स वन के इन टू वन मीन्स के सो वाट इज द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी लॉग एन बेस थ्री If we have i is equal to i into three, then log n base three is the time complexity. i is equal to i into five means log n base five. Likewise, let's see the last example. i equal to i by two. i by two i into two means we will get log log value as the time complexity. Let's check whether it is correct or not. So in the first two, what is i value? i is equal to n. So in the first iteration, i value is <coughs> n. Next iteration, next iteration, n by two. Next iteration, n by two by two. That means n by four. Next iteration, n by four by two. That means n by eight. So on. What is the last one? N by two power k. N by two power k. So let us equate that last one to one. One. In order to get the time complexity, equate to one. So we can say that n is equal to two power k. So that means log n equal to log two power k. So we can write, we can exchange left and right. So what is the time complexity here? Log n is the time complexity. So in this way, for any problem, for any program, for any example, easily we can calculate the time complexity.